Eddie and I just finished uh, filming. Here we are, dance lesson. Mm -hmm. What did I say? Eddie He's learning my dance. Me. But we are gonna do a Q&A today, but while we answer your questions, it's like almost three and I haven't eaten all day, so we're just gonna get some snacks at the convenience store and eat while we answer your questions. I'm just using it as an excuse to eat something yummy. <laughs> Oh my gosh, they have like so many new snacks. What do you oh, want? I, like this kind of stuff, I like love this. that. I love that. Sweet potato. Okay, what should we get? Oh, well, you have to pick up some chips because I'm gonna use I'm gonna use you as an excuse to eat some chips today. So okay. not that many choices here. Oh my God, trying this for the first time. <laughs> yes. Okay, so we asked you guys on Instagram to leave us some questions. So. Did you check yours for your questions? I, <laughs> I figured I'll just go at it randomly. Okay. Well, first, um, Edward gave me his cushion. Boo. Shower cake cushion. The donation cushion. Yeah, the donation cushion. And I can't wait to try it because... I figured it would suit her because her skin's already so nice. No, it's not. Oh my god. No, I have like so much like acne scar and I keep breaking out. Oh, no, that's good because it will heal it. <gasps> So excited to use it. <laughs> the packaging is so awesome. Look at this huge box. So thank you. Yes. All right, and we got some snacks from the convenience store. Guys, look at this. It's Chupa Chup strawberry strawberry flavored sparkling drink. Oh. Are you kidding me? It's gonna be so sweet. Nalina, so loves it. I'm so excited. We no. got Korean Cheetos. Mm -hmm. Cause I can't do hot Cheetos. Oh really? Yeah, I can't. I feel like for mm, yeah, they're well, not only that, they like they're really salty. Yeah, but Joan loves it, but I'm just like no. Yeah, and then the, the, she loves the spicy ruffles. I know, yeah. I'm obsessed with those, but I like my Korean chips. These are very sweet compared this to the American ones. Corn soup flavored. And then we've got these ones that look like old Yeah, like kind of gross looking. <laughs> Squid flavored. Yeah. Before I eat this, I brought my eggs. I, I mean, I want an empty stomach. I don't want to put chips down, like, my True. throat for the first thing I'm eating. True. And I brought a sweet potato from home. Do you eat the skin? No. I mean, I do usually when it's, like, cooked right after, uh, but it was, like, in the fridge, so no. Okay, let's get into the questions. Thank you, everyone, for sending in your questions. Joan asked, is Eddie a good dancer? <laughs> no comment. <laughs> <Just> kidding! <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, he was really good. He got my dance down and I think the dance suits him well, so you better be dancing to it every time you hear the song. Or... I do. Usually when I, that's why I try to learn the choreos because when I'm listening to a song, I kind of play the, the dance in my head. Mm. Uh, okay. I love that piano part. Which part? The piano part, when the piano comes in during before the chorus. Uh... Why do you talk about the process of writing that song? I didn't write the song. Well, I mean, like, like what you're recording to the demo, uh -huh. you know, like... Like, oh, uh, we have, like, a group of producers in our company, so... Right, I saw that picture, there was, like, was like three, four? Yeah, they wrote this song that would fit me, and, yeah, that was Here We Are. Oh my gosh, you guys. That's the thumbnail. Oh my god! <gasps> Every time! <laughs> Alright. Beautiful, beautiful. What's it like as an idol to deal with negative comments or drama? Does someone else take care of that, or... Do you read comments on your videos? Mm-hmm. Well, I'm sure all idols do. Well, not all of them do. I know some people, they try to stay away from it if they it's think so like... Draining. Yeah, just because, you know, if, if you're confident that you don't let it get to you, then you can read it. But no, like in the beginning, when I first debuted, it really hurt me oh, a lot. Course. These days, I just read it and I'm just like, huh, -huh. Like there are some yeah. people who think this way or like who say yeah. these things. I'm just like, whatever. Right. How about you? Uh, for me, I only, because usually the negative comments come like a day or two later mm -hmm. after I post a video, so I only really look at the comments the first day. Mm. Because for me, it's not really so much like, oh my god, my feeling. It's more like, like no, my personality, I tend to take negative comments. Like I'll joke about negative comments, but at the beginning, I react kind of heavily. Uh -huh. And I don't want that to happen because oh, I kind of back a few years ago, I would heavily, like I would, I would go on Snapchat and be like, this person, blah, blah, blah. And that's really immature to be honest. Uh -huh. So to prevent that from happening, because then, yeah. then I, I'm, I can only speak for myself, but you know, there are fans, so it causes them to go after that person. Uh, and I don't want to be responsible for that. So right, right. I would rather just like not see it. Mm -hmm. So. All right, they're curious like how did we become friends? How do we meet? The first time I met you was 
Was that? I don't remember. Oh. I make it before Rangel. the Britney Spears concert, right? Yeah. Oh! Was that the first time we met in Hongdae when we went to that um, Thai restaurant or whatever? Remember? With Coco and Tina? Oh, yeah. And we went to like Gentle Monster. Yeah, after. we met at Gentle Monster. I was like, oh, I don't know. Ashley. <laughs> and here she is now grilling me about not knowing her dance. I know. Who would have thought? Right. But yeah, that's was the first time we met Sophia. So we met through mutual friends. Yeah. And then we met mutual friends. So what was your first impression of me? Um, I feel like you were just like how I would imagine you would be. Because I knew you're from America. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't know, it's just from my experience meeting other like idols that are like from America. They tend to be more on the chill side. Mm -hmm. You're pretty much, you know, oh, especially true. people from the East Coast, they tend to be more chill. Mm -hmm. I feel like me and Joe, people from the West are very like, oh my god. <laughs> so you're just like, yeah, hi. Yeah, no, you were very quiet when I first met you because too. Because the thing is, even when I meet idols that I'm fans of, mm -hmm. I get really quiet. Like I don't even want to talk to them. I'm just like, oh my god, they're so beautiful. They're so beautiful. And I don't go up to. I don't. You know. Even if my friends like, no, go talk to her. I'm just like, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> so. Oh, so you were shy. That's why. Because mm -hmm. I was fan of you from your debut. Oh my god, I can't believe that. But he knows our bad girl choreography. Pretty much. I learned that thing like within a week. Mm. When that dance practice came, out. honey, uh, <laughs> honey. <laughs> Yeah, he said. The backup dancers were so cute. Oh yeah, he said that was his favorite choreography from Ladies Code, and I think that was my favorite one too. You know, you know, choreography is like catchy. Yeah. And the song is catchy too. Yeah. How was that? It tastes. I don't know if you've ever had it. There's a Filipino snack that's like little. They look like you know those big bottles of cheese balls. It looks like that, but it's just corn. And it tastes. It literally just tastes like that. Just corn powder. I love corn flavor. I'm guessing that's a dance studio. How often do you both dance, or both dance to K-pop dances? I don't dance. <laughs> Only whenever I, uh, whenever I have to do my own choreography. Oh really? But that's like rarely. When do you, do you never like make covers these days? I never do covers. I'll learn it at home, but I, I, like in my head I'll learn it, but I don't actually do it. Mm, I'm in the like a practice room every day, unless I have a schedule or unless I have like a music promotion stuff I have to do, but. I usually get dance lessons like two or three times a week, and then other times I just like practice on my own. What genre of dance do you usually practice when you're getting lessons? Like hip hop, like okay. girls' hip hop. What um, made you decide you wanted to go solo? By the way, your new song stole my wig. Oh, thank you. <laughs> wig snatched. Oh, um, uh, my, that was so <laughs> wig snatched. <laughs> Is that right? Is that right? <laughs> okay. I didn't like decide first that I wanted to go solo, but. My company was thinking about it and they gave you the option. Mm -hmm. Cause they didn't Cause your one member go solo as well? Mm -hmm. Sojun went solo first and I mean it was always a dream of mine to go solo but I just never thought I would get the opportunity. Okay. But they were like, oh, I feel like we're, your concept fit, fits the summer so let's mm -hmm. do a summer comeback solo for you. And I was like, oh my god, yay! Twelve. Mm -hmm. Cause a lot of idols don't get that opportunity. I know. I know. If you could visit any era in time, which would you visit? The 90s. You are from the 90s. Like visiting a bat? Visiting that I've never? Just say it, that I've never been to? Well, if you could visit any era in time and you choose 90s. It was a simple time. I miss it. Okay. Why? What would you choose? Well, I don't, I, if I could, I would live in the 50s. <gasps> oh, yeah, that would be fun too. Maybe. <laughs> All my favorite actors and actresses, James Dean, Audrey Hepburn, music that I like, especially Frank Sinatra. I just want to go back in time and live in that time when I could go see them live and drive through movie theaters, mm -hmm. just milk where burgers and milkshakes cost ten cents. What are some things that you do to prepare? What are some things that you do to prepare for shows and concerts? Do you have any like pre-show like rituals? Well, I always have to. Uh. Oh, you know. Okay, I always thought that was like, like dramatic, but does that actually, like, does that help your... That helps. And I always stretch too, because I don't want to pull a muscle. There have been times when I start dancing on stage, but midway I'm like, oh, because like I pull like a mu that muscle on my neck, like, so it's really important to stretch before. Wow. Yeah, so like, like while we're performing live, like I'll do a dance move, and then my, like, my neck feels like it's being ripped off, and I'm like, <laughs> That's fun. Yeah, not fun at all, so. Oh my god. Yeah. You 
Oh wow. It really does taste like a candy, but I don't really like the texture of it. It's, it's like, like a little thick. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's one thing you wouldn't know about each other at first glance? That... What you wouldn't know me at first glance? That gopchang is my favorite food. You love gopchang? It's like my favorite food, but a lot of Koreans are surprised by that. I can't eat it. Right, that's the thing, a lot of Koreans can't eat it, a lot of foreigners definitely can't eat it, oh. apparently. Oh. A lot of people will be like, you're like so Korean, I'm just like, <laughs> oh, me? I'm a boring person. <laughs> but it's kind of a weird question, being in the sense that if I don't know you, then everything I wouldn't know about you. That's true. But something right. like surprising. And you're an idol. Mm. Actually, I wouldn't be surprised if I didn't know her. I'd be like, oh my gosh, she looks like an idol. Surprise! I, I am. thought look like an idol. Oh. Mom didn't they? No! Anya, Maja, you look really pretty. There's some soul in there. <laughs> this is really good. My turn? <laughs> oh, this is a question for you, but what is the best advice you would give about learning Korean? Definitely surround yourself with as much Korean media as possible. I don't I wouldn't rely too much on like books. That uh, would be mostly for grammar, mm. but to get like the natural. Because I've seen so many people use like Google Translator and they'd be like, oh, oh my gosh, oh my Ashley, Sarah Kamida, Nanin, Takashina, Kukuchi, Kukuchi. Right, so try to watch a lot of like TV shows, dramas. Mm. Um, How about like friends in real life? Maja, that help. Mm. Being Korea here, I have to force myself to learn Korean just because I have no one to speak English with. Yeah. Uh, when is Ladies Code coming back? Yes, your soul slays and you look amazing. We are still. You don't um, know. I mean, I think before this year ends, we will. Yeah. I want a song where I throw my booty in a circle. I want that too. Because your last two songs were very chill, very yeah. like. Da 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 da. I know because it was like a part of our healing trilogy, mm -hmm. so they, you know, wanted to go for more like a that, that kind vibe, of vibe. That vibe. Sorry, we had to switch to another camera because the other one it got oh, overheated. This one's so much better. We'll try this. Oh. The yeah. ultimo. Is it? It's like really? it actually, no, it tastes more like fish. But look at this. This is so gross looking. People who have, what is that thing called? Try the phobia of the little circle stuff, which Sojung has. Oh. They're gonna get freaked out by this. Ooh. Ooh. Um, mm. How long? I like it. It's like sweet, but like kind of fishy. fishy at the same time. Cool. How long did it take for you to prepare for this comeback, and why is it on Apple Music? Why is it not on Apple Music? I got mine on it Apple Music. It is on Apple Music. It's on Apple Music, it's on Spotify, it's on iTunes. Is iTunes the same thing as Apple Music? Pretty much. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's there. It's just that there are so many Ashleys that it's hard to find my profile. <laughs> like, seriously. <laughs> no, but... it's just here we are with Ashley. Yeah, here we are, Ashley. You yeah. can find it. Well, we first recorded the song in April. I guess the whole prep took about like three months. Oh, wow. Yeah, April. May, June. We filmed a music video on July, June 19th. So. Everything in one day? Yeah. Wow. But from like 9 a.m. to 2 a.m. Oh my god. Yeah. That's how I got this tan line. I was outdoors all day. Um, yeah. So yeah. It, was, it was hard. Edward, what do you think of Ashley as an idol and what's your favorite song of hers? Love you two so much. I mean, you only have here you already answered, don't you? No, and Ladies Code songs too included. Okay, that should be a ladies' code song. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Why? Because it's just so catchy. I love that kind of like old school, like. And did you hear the brass session? Yeah, that that too. Yeah, that's why so I really like. So awesome. Okay. Yeah, I was reading a lot of comments. And they were all like, "Oh my god, that song is just for a debut song." Mm -hmm. It's yeah. really good. We prepared it for like six months. Oh my god. I love the subway. <laughs> the sub submarine subway. Oh yeah, the submarine, submarine that came out for like zero five seconds. You know how long it took to fill up the water? You had to wait like six hours. Oh my god. But for Ashley, of course, here we are. What was the other part of the question? Uh, what do you think of Ashley as an idol? I think she's great. She can sing. She's pretty, and she can dance. But the thing is, with a lot of, like, honestly, a lot with a lot of idols, people will put them for one reason or another, whether it be just looks or 
They can do one thing like dance. Mm -hmm. But she's the triple threat. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be honest with you, I was quite surprised at how well you sing. Because oh. I, I always I thought he's like the main dancer. Because mm -hmm. I, like, honestly, I, I felt like you didn't get to showcase your voice, your, your singing, singing voice mm -hmm. as much in Ladies Code. You got to really see here you're singing this song. For me, I think one of the good, like, signs of like good good scene which is probably not i don't know mm -hmm. like it's vibrato mm -hmm. and she's got it so oh, thanks. okay next question <laughs> if you were stranded on an island what top three skincare or makeup products would you bring skincare. i mean you're a beauty and skincare youtuber <laughs> try on again oil cleanser because <laughs> i can take my makeup off with that and use it as a cleanser oh wow and then my makeup face, stress zero toner. I need toner. Moisturizing toner. Uh huh. For Subun. Really? And then um, sunscreen. Yeah, me too. Sunscreen and just a moisturizing cream. And then the last one, I will probably bring a lip product, whether it's like tints, because I look so dead without anything on my lips, like when I don't have color on my lips. And if we're stranded on a deserted island, I'm pretty sure we're gonna get tanned, and then my face is gonna uh, be dark, and then my lips are gonna be like- Pale. Yeah, so uh, it's not gonna look pretty. What was the hardest part of the here we are choreogra choreography? Oh, definitely the chorus part. Really? I mean, because when I first learned it, it was a lot more steps than it is now. <laughs> so the chorus that was dun, less. Dun, dun. Yeah. Oh so when God. I first learned it, I was like out of breath the whole time. I was like, I can't do this. Like, <laughs> I can't do this on stage. Like, how can I sing and dance mm. this at the same time? So you kind of reduced some moves and took some moves out. So now it's like bearable. It's doable. <laughs> it's still hard though. Uh, uh, if you weren't doing what you're doing now, what would you be doing? Probably be a video game designer. Really? Uh, I'm into video games like that. I, I was about to go to cool school for that, mm. but I didn't. Mm. So are you good at like designing stuff? I was very creative in school. Cre You're still creative now. Um, it's more like I get inspired by other things, mm. and I'll, you know, give my own little twist to it. Mm -hmm. So in that sense, I'm creative, but like thinking of things, mm. they it has to come to me. I mean, I've always liked teaching, even when I was in the States, like I always liked tutoring and I taught dance for a little bit and it was really fun for me. Or I was studying theater in college, so maybe uh, I might have pursued theater and acting. In and New York too, so. Yeah. All right, so what are your go-to fashion or makeup items? For you, if it's just like a rest day for you mm. and you're just gonna go out and meet a friend for a coffee, what's mm -hmm. like your, your default like? Oversized t-shirt, high-waisted jeans, mm, yep. and sneakers. Yep. Yeah, yeah, that's like the most comfortable yeah. and my go-to. I love jean shorts and I love sneakers, so sure. how about you? Same, maybe not like high-waisted dress shorts, but <laughs> just like an oversized thing, basically. Oh yeah, yeah so t-shirt and shorts. Yeah, but I, whenever I go out, I see people dress up like, oh my god, I feel so naked. I but you look, more. you look dressed up. This is dressed up. Like, like you still look trendy. You know what I mean. I try to keep the element of like at least not looking like it's just chamot. Right, 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 right. right. So that's uh, maybe my shoes or something. But how would I get? Because like, what is it? I'll perform with Aura or whatever. Uh -huh. He dresses up to the nines, and oh, I'm just like, oh yeah. And I just wear like jeans and a shirt. <laughs> so <laughs> it's getting lazy. Um, how about your go-to makeup product? I think you kind of answered this earlier. Like, you just need your tints. Yeah, right? I need my lipstick. Yeah, for me, I think brows and foundation. I'm like, okay. Mm. I just need concealer too. I Must concealer. be nice. <laughs> Milk or cereal first? Cereal first. Me too! Because yeah, when you pour the cereal, it just sits on top before it sinks. Yeah, I hate that. It, it ends up overflowing too quickly. I just put a bunch of cereal in first and then I put the milk just enough. Do you like completely cover the top or until it's about to hit the surface? About to hit the surface, yeah. I don't like too soupy stuff, so. Uh. Do you, ever, do, you ever, do you ever do like a second round when you finish all the cereal? Oh, I do like seven rounds. But then the milk isn't as cold. I know, but... Do you put more milk? Because the milk is sweet, so oh, I just add exactly. a little more. There's a cafe in um, Karasuki mm -hmm. called Cafe in Cielo or something. Uh -huh. Cielo like sky, because they have clouds in their cafe. Oh, uh -huh. And they have a drink called Cielo Sub Tea. Oh. And it literally tastes like... Cereal, cereal milk. milk. <gasps> That's why I always go there to get it. What? Oh my gosh, can you take me next yes. time? Yes. And so... Aesthetic. Aesthetic. I think I might have passed by it once. I saw like clouds. Mm, in yeah, the... it's probably that one. Yeah. yeah. Who's the greater queen between the two of you? Her. 
her, probably. I always thought I was like sassy, but she is a whole nother level. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> you say that now. You if you ask her to teach you dance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can Edward do a dance cover of Here We Are? Well, he learned it today, so <laughs> if you guys want to check it out, go to his channel to watch our video. I'm still like sweating over there. <laughs> Learning Here We Are. He got the whole, not the whole thing, but he got half of it down in like an hour and a half, so. It's Veronica said, is it hard maintaining your weight? I know a lot of K-idols in general have to undergo insane diets to maintain. <sighs> Well, like me, I don't do like insane stuff because I care about my body and I actually want to live a very long life. That is right, one of my dreams in way. life. Um, I want to live till I see my gra grandchildren, great grandchildren, great 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 grandchildren. So I want to live for as long as I can. I never like really starve myself or do anything unhealthy. I just try to eat healthy food um, and work out on top of that. And these days, I mean, I've been doing intermittent fasting for like the past two and a half months, and I feel like that's really good for me too. I think you should every now and then you should be able to spoil that spoil yourself, but like treat yourself. Yeah, I'm not even considered skinny in the K-pop world. I'm just like average, but I like it like this. You're quite toned. It looks really good, especially for like your jacket photos and stuff. Very uh, concept. Oh yeah, especially for this concept because it was supposed to be like a se healthy, sexy, mm -hmm. not just like a really thin. Yeah. Anyways, what is something that both of you hope to accomplish in the future? Maybe it's like a world tour. You guys should go to K-pop. I know. Hopefully next year. Oh, put in a good word. Hopefully, next, well. hopefully next year we will have like you know made a comeback with a few songs so we can mm. go and yeah. I mean like I always dreamt of like going to cake on New York because I'm from New York I don't know I think I will cry like when mm. I see my family in the audience I because will. my family members have never seen me on stage uh. it would be really special if I got to perform in front of them although I think I would be nervous yes. I'm like the type of person that like becomes more nervous when I know someone is in the audience uh, so I'd rather like... have like strangers or people I don't mm. know yeah I think it'll still be very you know meaningful yeah mm. how about you? <laughs> How about you? <laughs> me, um, maybe do something like come out with like my own brand. Mm. I feel like YouTube is not gonna be forever, so mm. I should move on to like maybe bigger. I, I love doing YouTube now, mm -hmm. but you know, try some other new, I guess. Is that new? Not really, but I feel like it's the next logical step for me. It's gonna happen. So, so. Mm -hmm. It is. <laughs> she knows for sure you're right. I know. It didn't start yet, Ashley. <laughs> I know for sure, but yeah, anyways. Well, thank you guys so much for the questions. Make sure you check out me suffering under Ashley's power, as in her trying to teach me her Here We Are dance. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah. And keep listening to Here We Are because summer's not over yet. It's not. It's gonna be your even, summer jam. Even in the fall, I feel like it's not over with this weather. Yeah, uh, in the fall and then winter, you can listen to my other song, Answer, because that fits the winter. That, yeah, it better. does. Yeah. yeah, it does. All right, so thank you everyone Bye. for the questions. See you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.